MMA Rants and Raves, Jacare vs. Bosch, and the UFC's middleweight division. Guys, let's talk about this fight. Well, it looks like Jacare got an opponent, and it's going to be Tim Bosch. Now, Tim Bosch has looked good as of late. He came off a dominant win recently. One thing I can say about Bosch, he's got power. He's one of the most heaviest hitters in the middleweight division. Good cardio. Very few guys would want to stand and trade with a guy like him. I mean, very dangerous. However, there's one thing to consider. I remember a fight that he had against Mark Munoz. Mark Munoz was able to take him down, control him, I and mean, he was taking some hard shots. Bosch is very tough. He was able to absorb the punishment, but he lost the fight, and it was due to grappling. So it seems like when he fights very high-level grapplers, he has a problem. If you could remember, he fought, and I know this was a light heavyweight, Phil Davis, and he lost by submission. Against strong grapplers, he's had problems. As far as his striking, that's where most of his success has come. So stylistically, this might be a good fight for him if he can keep this fight standing. But keep in mind, Jacare's wrestling has gotten much better. As far as his jiu-jitsu and his control on the ground, I mean, he may be the very best ground specialist in the middleweight division right now. I mean, his wins are very dominant, and the fights he didn't win were very close. That's the mark of a great fighter. There's something to consider here. His wrestling has gotten better. Just look what happened with Vitor Belfort. He's extremely dangerous, whether it's his jiu-jitsu, whether it's his ground and pound. If you're on the ground with this guy, you're in a lot of trouble. He's a very dangerous fighter. Now, the question is, can Bosch keep the standing? He has to keep this fight standing. He cannot go to the ground with Jacare, unless he gets Jacare hurt. You know, then maybe it can benefit him to be on the ground if he gets top position or something, but then again, Jacare has a granite chin. This guy is very tough. So if Bosch hits him, he's going to have to hit him, and he's going to have to hit him on target. And even if he does, I mean, he may be able to absorb something, clinch, and maybe get this fight to the ground. Now keep in mind, Bosch is also a guy who's been hit. Bosch has suffered a knockout. But the point being is, is that Jacare is not just a guy that's dangerous on the ground, he's dangerous standing up. You could just watch his fight against Luke Rockhold, and he stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with an elite striker, and that fight was a close fight. But with that being said, I think Jacare is just too good. I mean, his ground game, his striking, his chin, his cardio, I mean, he's just looked fantastic throughout his career. He was Romero's toughest fight. That was a toss-up. That's how close it was, and that just proves how good he really is. I'm going to go to prediction. I got Jacare to win this fight. I would like to know what you think about the fight. Please leave your comments. Please subscribe. Please like up this video. And thank you for tuning in.